Hello and welcome back. Uh, in this video, what I'd like to do is just go ahead and finish up our route method in our router. Um, and so things aren't going to work quite yet, but we're well on our way to having uh, our framework working. Uh, so let's go ahead and get rid of our dump and die here. Uh, we may use that in a minute. So the first thing that we want to do is we're going to extract from our URL array our controller. So you remember in our uh, URL I said that the first um, that the first part of this will be our controller that we're going to use. Okay. So let's go ahead and um, controller and let's set up a variable. And the variable, the, we need a ternary operator here. Okay. And what we're going to do here is we're going to check if is set URL zero with the index is zero. Okay. If that's set, and if the URL zero. Uh, is not equal to an empty string. If all of that's true, then what we're going to do is we're going to set controller equal to um, URL zero. But if you remember correctly, our our um, controllers are going to be uppercase because all of our classes are uppercase words. So what we're going to do is use UC words. It's a built-in PHP function, and we're going to wrap. That URL there, um, and if it's not set on um, the else part of this, we're going to go ahead and set up a new um, a constant called default controller. So let's go ahead now and uh, D and D controller. Okay, and let's see what we get here. Um, Probably gonna get an error about that. Def oh well. So we can see now that it, it's pulled just that users out of the URL and it's made it an uppercase U. Um, that's exactly uh, what we want. But what happens now if they don't put anything here? Um, so now we have a notice of a U undefined constant. So let's set that up. And what we're gonna do that is in our config um, here. So. Uh, let's go ahead in our config file and open PHP tags and uh, skip down a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and uh, define default controller and for my application I'm going to say home. Uh, that will be the default controller for me and let's go ahead and make just keep some comments as we're doing this so that our, at least our config file will be easy to set up later. Uh, so default um, controller if there isn't one defined but, uh, in the URL. Okay, something like that. Uh, not very good at writing comments, to be honest. So now, uh, well, if we don't put anything, uh, it just puts home there, which is perfect because we're going to go to home and index um, is where we're going to find ourselves. Um, but if this, if we do put something here like users, uh, that'll work just fine. Um, now, the other thing that I want to do is let's go ahead and go back to our router here, uh, and I want to um, set controller name. Equal to controller, okay? Because we're going to use both of these later. Um, so let's just go ahead and set another variable. Set that up in memory one more place. Um, and then I want to. We don't need that part of the URL anymore. So let's do array uh, shift URL. All right. So now let's um, let's do two things. Let's uh, echo. controller and let's actually concatenate on a break and then let's do our dump and die URL after this array shift and see what that does so basically what should happen um, let's see, users register 
five, six, eight, new. I don't know, something like that. Uh, users. So what we have now is we have echoed out our controller name, which is users, and then we have our URL array um, being dumped right here. And you can see that users is no longer in that array. The first element in that array now is register. And then we have this here. Okay, so let's uh, continue on here. So now that we have um, the controller set up, uh, we need to know next the action. Um, the action is actually just going to be a method. So we're going to do the same thing. I mean, this is very similar code. And in fact, um, let's just go ahead and copy all of this, paste it, and here, and here, do action. Uh, this is all exactly the same, except for we're not going to use UC words here. We're going to use the actual deal. And if it's not set uh, on an action, we're going to assume that they want the index action. Okay? And that'll make more sense once we start building this. Um, the other thing that we want to do is concatenate on to this URL. Um, the word action okay so let's go ahead then and let's uh, echo out let's go ahead and just um, by the way I, I in Adam you can hit if you have your uh, cursor on a line you can push control uh, shift D or on a Mac it's command shift D and it will duplicate your current line down to one so I'm gonna go ahead and here and I'm going to echo out our action. So we'll have our controller, our action, and then what's left of our URL array after that. So let's see what that is now. Okay, so we have our users, and then we're gonna to go to register action. So uh, that's good. And then our array left is are gonna be five, six, eight, and new. Um, so that's really cool because now what we have is an array of parameters left over. Um, which is perfect. We, that's what we want. So let's go ahead and um, let's just go ahead and put that in. Uh, params and let's just call that uh, query params. Make that equal to URL. Okay. Um, so the next thing that we want to do is um, we're actually going to want to call, uh, we're going to set up the uh, controller, the object. And we don't have these built yet, so we just have to kind of imagine this. But what's going to happen here is let's just call a dispatch, make a, uh, a variable called dispatch. And then what we normally do with an object is you would say like new users. Okay, and that's how you would instantiate a new users object and assign it to dispatch. Um, but what we're going to do is you can actually use a variable. So what we're going to do is say controller. Okay, and then so it's new controller, and then we'll pass it uh, a controller name and the action. Uh, as parameters into that. Um, and this will make a lot more sense uh, when we get going because we'll have, um, so for instance, if, in this example, uh, users, we would, it would say uh, dispatch equals new users and then would pass it in that register action. Uh, well, it would pass it in the uh, users, uh, the controller name, so it would be users and then the second would be that register action. Uh, now, if we try to do that right now, we're not going to have, it's, it's not going to work because, for instance, we don't have those uh, objects. So let's go ahead and just show you what I mean. Okay. And if I go ahead and load this, fatal error class user is not found in our router.php file. Um, and that's because we haven't created it yet, and that's that's okay. Um, we'll get to that. So let's. We know this is working now. Uh, so far, so good. Um, the next part of this is what we want to do uh, is 
we want to check inside of that object. Let's say the object did exist, uh, the user's object. We want to uh, do this. We want to say if method exists. So the first parameter is the controller again, and then the action. So it's going to look for if if this action exists in this controller, so if register action exists in the user's controller, then we want to do something. Uh, what do we want to do? Well, we have this really cool thing that PHP gives us called user function array. And this call user function array allows us to actually call a um, callback function with uh, an array of parameters passed into it. So if you think about what we're trying to do here is we're, tr we're cr instantiating a new object um, with the controller name of users and we're we want to call that uh, method inside of that users array. So we want to call the register action method inside of this and then we want to pass these query params uh, into that method. Okay, and so it's a very uh, cool thing that PHP has given us that we can just do that. So, um, the normally what you would do is you would define some sort of callback function here, um, and then you, the second parameter would be the that array. So we would do our uh, query params. So it it would call this function that we created, and it would pass in those that. Uh, um, array of parameters into that function. But what's really cool um, for object-oriented programming is I can actually give this an array syntax. And the first element of the array can be the, um, is, is actually going to be the object. So we can, call an, we can call an object. And then the second is going to be the method. So now we can just pass it in that method. So this function right here what it's going to do is it's going to call it's going to basically be the same as us doing this okay um, manually we would do dispatch um, it would be dispatch and then the action name so it'd be register action okay and then we would pass in query params like that again this is an array and the first element of the array is going to be our object the second is going to be the method that's called and then our second parameter in this call user function array is going to be an array of parameters that gets passed into this so the other thing that we want to do right now is just go ahead and set this up um, that method uh, does not exist uh, in the Controller, and then we'll do something like this. Um, okay. Um, so let's go ahead and. Again, this stuff isn't going to work yet because we don't have this users class, but we will build that. Um, so that that is actually um, pretty much it. That that router, this route function, uh, will work now once we get going on building some of these uh, um, controllers and and actions. So I can't really show you that until we get going, so let's just carry on, and I'll see you in the next video.